This video is the really hard part. This is where we're going to connect the Dayton puck to the Pile Link 18 gauge um, speaker wire, which you're not going to be buying in that quantity, but it's 18 gauge that you're looking for. This wire clearly shows the, um, the hot wire in red and the ground not in red. And each wire, each speaker wire is gonna have their own way for you to know which is the hot wire in the ground. And the hot wire on the puck is um, the white, right David? The hot yes. wire is, okay. So my husband David is gonna be putting it together while we both discuss the process. Okay, so go ahead, honey. Okay, the first thing you do is determine the length of the wire you want as an extension and cut two of them the same length. Then separate the ends. One end, you separate only about a half inch because that's going to be going into the uh, machine. The amplifier. The amplifier. These you make about two inches because you need some room to work with when you connect it with the puck. Now, how did you um, clear the wire on the puck? How did you get the wire exposed? You didn't use Here's the how cutter. we get the wire exposed. We got these from Radio Shack. They're wire strippers. And what we do, we take and we cut about three quarters of an inch on the long end and about a quarter of an inch on the short ones. Then you take, after you've made your initial cut, you wind it so the wire comes out nice and wound. Now we're ready to connect the white, which is the positive, to in this particular wire, the one that has the red, which is the positive. Also known as the hot. Um, and how did you get it off on the puck, David? How did you take the, um, the wire, the plastic coating off on the puck from Dayton? Okay, the pucks, when they originally come, will have that much wire exposed. We need to have a longer part of the wire exposed so we can wrap it with that much wire. What I did, because I couldn't find a stripper that was this gauge, I just took a cigarette lighter and burned it there. And when this got completely black, you can just pull it off. Okay, thanks. After these wires, this, so you have them about the same length as this. Then you start by, I always start with the white and the red, and you merely wind them together. It would be perfect if Dayton made the um, pucks with an eight or a 10 foot wire. We're working on that. But until we can buy in large enough quantities uh, or convince Dayton to extend, make them at the factory that way, we have to deal with this um, connection, which is not that professional because we're, we're doing this the way a girl could do it. Now, if you have a great guy who has um, uh, crimpers, you can use specific crimping t tools with certain parts from Parts Express. I don't know what you call them. What do you call the, the crimpers, the crimp things, David? Um, crampers. Clampers, I believe. That's the part? Oh, the little part? I don't know. Okay. So it's a little thing you connect, but in any case, uh, for now, we're just using tape so that girls could make these. We're okay. using electrical tape. Now that you have those two intertwined, you take electrical tape. Cut it about that long, which I'd say is about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. The important thing when you wrap these is you want to wrap both the bottoms and the wire. You want to wrap them so they don't come apart. So I start at the bottom, so I got my wires covered. I 
again going to the second one about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Now keeping in mind, you gotta be sure that you start below where the wire is because you wanna tape these wires also. The bottom line is you never want them to connect to one another. That would cause um, the units to uh, break. Okay, now these are both individually wrapped. The next step is we're going to tape them together because we don't even want the pull or the stress on the puck where these, or the wire where these could come apart. So this time I'm gonna take about a two inch. to start clearly down on the wires itself. So the electrical tape is making sure that the hot wire and the ground do not touch. Okay, now I've taped the bottom part of it. So we now have the tape connected to the base, a good uh, take on that. Now I'm gonna take one more small piece and I want to connect the two wires at the top so it makes it easy to tape onto the puck. Okay, and that's how it's done. And can you just show them where we tape it on the puck, the other side? It's not necessary. You'll have two of these. To do that. Put but them here. I like to do it. Tape it so it doesn't come off. It makes it more easy to work with and it's uh, more functional and more convenient. So you do exactly what I did on the other one. When you're ready to put it into the amplifier, I pre-cut these little guys. This you gotta take a little time with. And then you also need to be sure that your red wire is going into the back of the amp in the red slot. Now the importance of this is, it's a short wire, it's well uh, wrapped, and you don't want them where they can touch each other. So we only put a, a small amount, so once they're put in the back of the yeah. amplifier, they cannot touch each other. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a homemade puck